Got another organic reactions flowchart for you to try. So we're up to number 17 now. There it is there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so I'll make a start. So I'm going to go across the top and down the right hand side and then I'll finish by going down the left. So if we look at the functional groups we've got in this starting molecule, we've got the alkene group and we've got the aldehyde group. So we've got this NABH4, this is a reducing agent. So it's going to reduce this aldehyde group to a primary alcohol group. So the structure in the top right hand box looks like that. And then if we look at the overall change going to the very bottom, we've generated an ester and we've lost this com com double bond. Now, there's another clue as to the order of this. This acid catalyst ties in with the esterification reaction. So the first thing we'll do is get rid of that double bond. So we're going to hydrogenate the alkene group. So we're going to react it with hydrogen in the presence of a nickel catalyst, and that's going to generate that alcohol. And then to turn that into an ester, we need to react the alcohol with a carboxylic acid. So we're going to need one, two, three. So that's propanoic acid obviously in the presence of that acid catalyst, would give that ester. Okay, so we'll finish off with the left-hand side now. So we've got alkene aldehyde going to an ester. We've still got the alkene group intact. There's that reference to acid catalyst again. So it looks like this is the esterification step at first glance. So... Okay, so we want to um, generate a carboxylic acid from this, keeping that intact. And then if we react that with an alcohol, that's going to generate this ester. Okay, so to turn this into the carboxylic acid, we need to oxidize it. Oxidizing agent is acidified potassium dichromate 6. You could just put H plus there if you wanted to. So the carboxylic acid is going to look like that. And then obviously to generate the ester, we need to react the carboxylic acid with one, two, so ethanol this time. 